I want to show you a few things about using the Training Sample Manager. The Training Sample Manager is a uh, wonderful, really wonderful tool set for um, using uh, within image classification and its access through the image classification toolbar. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, created a color composite here. This is a 1 through 5 and channel 7 color composite of uh, a Landsat 5 scene of Chicago, uh, Chicago area uh, from 2008, April 15th of 2008. And this is a 1, 4, 7 uh, color composite, blue, green, red. Uh, you can also see over here I've got a base map open, which I don't have turned on right now, but I'm going to use it later in just a moment so you, so that you'll see. Uh, so the, the training sample manager is accessed through the image classification toolbar, which comes to us um, from toolbars, image classification, and then the training sample manager is right here. This is a very useful toolbar for us you know, as we, as we go forward but the training sample manager we open and then uh, we use this and the various functions on it to uh, create and analyze training samples, small areas that we're going to use to classify uh, the image that we're working on. So using the training sample manager uh, to create um, create training samples uh, is fairly simple. I'm going to zoom down and I'm I'm referring back to the um, back to the the uh, activity and the list of types of land cover and water that we're going to try to classify with this um, with this uh, 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 activity and if you look the first three are water there's low density medium density and high density residential and then some industrial and uh, commercial uses, urban grassland, forest preserve, and then three different agricultural uh, land covers. Okay, and so I'm going to start with uh, the water land cover here. Um, and so starting with the water land cover, I'm going to first do a, uh, a clear water, which is darker and so you can see here in Lake Michigan and I'm going to create a polygon and I select the the draw polygon and so I'm going to create a fairly large polygon usually with water samples you know you use fairly large samples you can see there's the first one I'm going to name it water one and I'm going to make another one a second one that's a little bit more turbid that's a college word for muddy and this one is in a little closer to shore on this image I'll call this water 2 and then I'm going to make a third water which is in really close to shore and this one is going to be a muddier water training sample and that one I'll call water 3 Okay, I'm going to save this training sample. And I'm going to save it to the folder that I'm working in. You should save it to your um, to your working folder. I'll call this one um, I'll call this one uh, Cook LC O8. Okay. And so that's saved, and it's actually saved as a shape file. So you can see I've got three different uh, training samples that I've created here. And I'm just going to continue down the list. I'm not going to go very far with this because I don't want to do them all, but it's really a fairly simple process. Um, the main thing for you now is how do I use, you know, how can I use a base map to improve my training sample selection? And you can use a base map, and I'm going to use the image base map to show you how I might uh, improve my training sample selection and show you, show you why you might do this. One of the categories that we have, just for example, one of the categories that we have 
is um, urban grassland, which is kind of a euphemism for um, golf courses. But it also, there, there are a lot of parklands that are meadows and, and that look like, um, you know, look like grassland. So here's, here's a golf course in, in Chicago, which is one of the principal land uses in Chicago, as you'll see when you start looking at it carefully. And so when I'm looking at the TMC, you can see it's quite pixelated, quite blocky. Um, the detail is not great, okay? And I'm going to uh, flip over to the, to the base map. I'm going to turn the, and I'm using the, the imagery base map without labels. And I'm going to flip over to that base map. And if you look, look at the detail that you get. And, and you can't really see this, but if you look at, the, at this particular feature here that we're going to use as a training sample, there's a big uh, water feature, which if you play golf, I apparently is not a good place to hit your ball. But you really don't want that in your training sample either because you're interested in urban grassland, which has some mixed trees in it, as, as we know, maybe if you've seen a, a golf course driving by one or maybe even playing on one, that's what they look like. So, but you want to avoid the water samples because that's going to that's gonna really... Um, cause problems with the training sample. It's going to change the statistics that are derived from uh, that particular training sample that you select. Okay, So when I, when I make that training sample, now I'm going to use the image and I'm going to avoid the water, which I understand is a, a good thing to do even if you're a, a golfer. And I'm going to select a polygon that's got some trees and it's probably got some sand, as I understand, uh, but also has quite a bit of grass. Okay, so there's this training sample, and I'll call this one. It's relatively small. I might even go for a second one here. And here's, a, here's another, it looks like maybe a cemetery, another type of urban grassland, right? So I may go for a, a second um, training sample here that is uh, a little bit, um, you know, to make the, the sample a little bit larger. And so here's another one. And I'm going to, I'm going to create another sample here. That's the same type of land cover. Okay, and you can see it's, it's created a new sample for me here, right? And so I'm going to leave these uh, where they are for now, but I'll show you what how we handle that. Okay, now as I've created two polygons that really are the same type of land cover and I want to merge them together I'm going to do that by selecting I'm sorry selecting both of those uh, both of those samples and then merging the training samples so you can see I've merged them now into one training sample it's including including both of these polygons I'm going to call this um, herb grass okay that's it, training sample manager. And that's how you make training samples. And then, you know, save your work as you go along and continue saving it. And you can see it's saving as a polygon shape file. So it's just a normal polygon shape file. It's going to be used later to build a signature file for this uh, classification that we're doing.